As 2022 draws to a close, I feel like I owe it to myself to look back on what has been a great year, both creatively and personally. I want this video to be a document that I can draw from, in those moments where I question my progress and my future. After a difficult few years, I found myself sinking into moments of memory loss, with my triumphs echoing in the chamber that I don't have the keys to. So let this be a record of my 2022 in photography. Being able to hold material manifestations of my work is always very encouraging. I've had the pleasure of shooting three cover stories this year, photographing radio presenter Roman Kemp for Decent Magazine, actress Reiki Ayola for Fabric Magazine, and actress Golda Rocheville for Fabric Magazine. I've also had my work featured internally, photographing glass artist Lulu Harrison for Crafts Magazine and actress Reiki Ayola for The Guardian. I fought against myself a lot this year, letting my anxiety and self-doubt take charge to the point of convincing myself that I don't belong on set, that I'm not cut out for a big budget shoot, that I am still new to all this, that they'll find me out. But I'm seasoned. I have some years on me now and I know what I'm doing. I've always had dreams of having my work in store, and this was finally achieved through a campaign I shot with Foot Locker and Nike, celebrating female playmakers, in line with this year's Women's Euro Championship. It was inspiring to photograph women who were so dedicated to creating inclusive spaces around fashion, football, art and culture, including Sophie Hurd, design and football enthusiast, as well as footballer Sandra Suarez. I also shot a campaign with eyewear brand Finlay, a drinks campaign for Murchi, which I mostly shot in film, and did a shoot for luxury leather brand, No Sakari. I did a fair bit of traveling within the UK for work this year, heading to Milton Keynes with Etsy to photograph winner of the Etsy Design Awards, Tim Stevenson in his home, taking a train up to Liverpool with Puma to photograph footballer Nikita Paris and document the opening of the Nikita Paris and Puma Sports Court in Nikita's local community of Toxteth. I travelled up to Birmingham with Primark and Netflix to create some content in celebration of the release of Stranger Things season 4, and down to Brighton to shoot a handful of artists on film for the music platform Line of Best Fit. I had the opportunity to work with Etsy once again, photographing phenomenal jewellery artist Marcia Vidal in her studio. I also worked with Hype Bay and Shivas, photographing sneakerheads Jesse Lawrence, Jess Gavigan and Tasha Baines as they reflected on the sneaker community and their platforms. Earlier on in the year, I had actually shot for Nike through Third Magazine. I remember telling my brother that I'd love to work with Nike on a campaign, so I'm so grateful that actually came true. My shoot with Nike and Third was split into two days and was in celebration of participants of the Nike London Grant initiative. I photographed members of Kai Rafai's Smiling Boys project, as well as members of the Talawa Theatre Company. I later returned to Talawa to take headshots of the same group I had previously photographed. I also had the pleasure of working with Third again for their body movements issue, photographing Rebecca Julie Bushell, the first black woman to swim for Great Britain, and Olympic swimmer Alice Deering. Creative block isn't a stranger to me at all, and I've managed to work through it via collaboration. I found that test shoots have continued to be a fun, pressureless environment for me to pick up the camera again. In those moments where I didn't feel like leaving my flat, I've still been able to create some work from home, turning to and getting more comfortable with my Mamiya. Like in this shoot with a Fosa, or this one with Tom Trip. My test with Kenny and Cameron was a great exercise to get me shooting outside again, especially on a system I hadn't used before, the Hasselblad. I also had the pleasure of teaming up with my director friend, Joy, to take the stills for her project, Heatwave. As you can see, I've been shooting tethered and grading on Capture One this year, and so I was super excited when they reached out for a brand partnership. I'm hoping for loads more collaborations of this nature in the new year. This year, I finally had my first ever graduation in completion of my MA in Photography Arts. <laughs> this was such an emotional day for me and my family, given everything that's happened over the last few years. So I'm so grateful we could finally have this moment. I'm currently doing a residency with CW+, the official charity of the Chelsea and Westminster Hospital, NHS Foundation Trust. And I've been spending loads of time in a dark room making prints for my final exhibition with them. I also currently have work in the Black Cultural Archives Transforming Legacies exhibition. I'm hoping to travel a lot more next year, but I've been on a few cool trips this year. I adventured to Yorkshire for the first time and went on my first hiking trip as an adult. I travelled to Corfu with Essie, and it was a much needed girls trip. I also went on a solo trip to Copenhagen, which gave me all the inspiration I needed. I feel like I've definitely allowed myself to have fun this year. I've been going out a lot more and exploring the extroverted side of myself that I didn't know existed. I've made so many new friends and connections through this, and of course, memories. Making this video has really reminded me that 2022 has been incredible and full of fun, despite my challenges with mental health. 
I hope this document serves not only as a pat on the back, but also a push to keep building on the progress that has been made so far. We all have self-doubt, so it's important to give yourself these gentle reminders whenever you forget how well you're doing. I hope you're all proud of yourselves and that your 2023 is full of creativity and blessings. Happy New Year, guys. I'll speak to you all soon. Peace.